Hey you guys, here I am and I have something new because uh, they opened up Belgium and so we'll be able to go on an overnight hike and so I have a problem now because I don't know what to choose and to take as a shelter. I have a few different options so I'm gonna show you which I have and what I have and what I might use. So let's see, open up my backpack, put it all in there. So I won't forget anything. So my first option, which is the most lightweight one, is this one person tent from MSR, the carbon reflex one. So and it's really lightweight and it's a good one, good tent. Um, I'll have to take this footprint with it, just you know, to keep it safe. And I have this uh, Tamarest Neo Air uh, mat mattress, but the short one, you know, the three quarters. So this is my most lightweight option. I have tried it out um, last year once, and during the Eastern break, I had a campsite in my garden, and I tried out all my stuff. So I slept in it, and I slept pretty well in all three of them. So it's a difficult decision, um, but. So, this is my first option, a one person tent, we did sleep pretty well. The only thing I did notice is when, you know, when I have to get out at night to get to the toilet, well, well, come in, back in, and with all the condensation, you have to really be careful so that the mesh doesn't touch the outer layer and then you get wet. So, I had that one time, so yeah, so you have to be careful with that. So, I do have a second option, and that's a hammock. I bought this on a Chinese website, so it's a cheap one because I want to try it. Also tried it at Eastern break, and I slept really well in, in it. So. But if you use a hammock, you will also need a tarp. So I got this tarp, this tarp poncho, so that makes it, you know, double use. I like it when I can use something for multi-purpose things. Um, I must say, I did sleep really good in that hammock around Eastern break. I even slept in it uh, in by the end of May. I slept like three, four nights in my hammock just to try it out and see if I could sleep well. So that was really comfortable. What I also need here in Belgium most of the time is an underkill. So that makes it all a bit a heavier solution because that's another 440 grams that I have to add but like I said I really slept comfortable and really nice and warm so it was worth it but yeah another problem I have with the hammock is you know you cannot always be completely sure you're gonna be able to put up your tent so you probably will have to take an extra um, footprint and I'll probably have to take some kind of mattress to go with it so in case I have to sleep on the ground you can make a shelter but it's not gonna be so comfortable all right so now we are at solution number three this is the most for me anyway the most comfortable one it's also a tent but it's a two-person tent. It's a big Agnes tent and it's the Cooper Spur two-person tent. Classic. I must say it weighs about double of my one-person tent, but it's also really comfortable and you have a lot of space in it for one person. I also slept in it during Eastern break and I slept like even five days or five nights in it and the I left so that was really comfortable and fun, like being on a holiday in my own garden. But, so, tent, what do you need in the tent also? Of course, a footprint. You know, those, those things are way too, too expensive just to, you know, to get holes in the, in the floor. And then I have this Thermarest, it's also a Neo Air, but it's a long one, long version. So if I go for the comfort version of a bigger tent, I'll have a more comfort mattress. So, 
Let me put it just one by one and see why I should take one or the other. Let's go just for the weight. So I'll start with the small carbon re reflex. It's 785 grams, 140 grams for the footprint and my mattress is 250 so that's a total of 1175 grams so for like for 1.2 kilo you have all your setup which is really nice then if you go for the hammock you have 650 grams hammock and that includes as well the mosquito net which by the way is really nice because i remember my first hammock experience was in brazil 1993 if I am correct and so we had to sleep out in the hammock but the hammock didn't have the mosquito net included so you have to have a separate um, mosquito net and so like I always have to get up in the middle of the night you know to go pee I have to crawl back into this sleeping bag put make sure that the mosquito net is nicely tucked in and so that's not always easy so i'm really glad with this option where the mosquito net is included and it's comfortable so but this is 650 grams this is 310 you know for the tarp then you have the underkilt is 440 grams but so you will have to have at least um for to make to make sure you have to have a footprint and you will need to have a little mattress so that'll be putting up, you know, 1.75 kilos. So that's about more than a half a kilo more than my little one person setup. Okay, I have my third option, which is the most heavy one. And therefore, though, I, my two person tent is a semi free standing tent, tent and it weighs 1.6 kilos. I have a universal footprint which weighs 125 grams and I have my Tamar rest the 370 grams so in total that'll make 2.1 kilos about it which is like almost it's 900 grams more than the most lightweight one so yeah so I really don't really know very well what I should take uh, so I would like have your opinion on it so you can put that in the comments below to help me out with this month one um, I think they're all three of them are okay uh, one a bit more comfortable than the other so help me out here let me know what you think and I'll see what I'll do and I'll tell you in my next video what I used and how it worked out so thank you for watching and see you later bye